Okay, children. So we'll talk about now electroscope. Okay. So what is electroscope? You know, it is an instrument. It is a device which is used to, uh, you know, to see that whether the charge is there or not. Okay. So if we have to identify the charge, then electroscope is used. It can identify even the smallest charge present on a body. Okay. So, what is electroscope children? It, electroscope is a device or an instrument which is used to uh, identify the charge and it has the capacity to uh, check even the smallest amount of charge present on a body. Okay. Now, you know uh, before discussing what is electroscope, how it works, how it uh, uh, like what is the procedure, we will talk first of all about our own electroscope. You know even you can make electroscope at your own home. Uh, so we will first talk about that the smallest, the simplest one and then we will talk about the original electroscope how does it works. Okay? So we are talking here about what children? We are talking about electroscope. So what is electroscope? It is a device. Okay. How can we define? It is a device or an instrument okay, to, to detect or check even a smallest amount of charge present on a body. Okay. So what is electroscope children? Electroscope is a device or an instrument which is used to detect or to uh, check, okay, to check whether the charge is there or not, check or to detect even the smallest amount of charge which is present on the body, okay. So now, which kind of charge children, which kind of charge is it, uh, is it able to detect? It is always electric charge, okay. So, do not get confused. So, what is an electroscope? Electroscope is a device or an instrument which is used to detect or to check even the smallest amount of charge is present on a body or not. Okay. Now, if you want to make your own electroscope, what you will do? You know, it is very simple. Take a jam bottle which is empty, huh? empty jam bottle. Do not take a filled one. Okay. Take an empty jar bottle, bigger one, the biggest one. Okay. Now, this is our jar, jar. Okay. This is our gem bottle, empty. Now, this will be open, isn't it? Now, I know this wide, it won't have this wide mouth over here. But I have made this just to explain you children. Okay. I know it won't be so wide. I know it very nicely, okay. So, now what has to be done, you know children, one wire has to be put up inside and this wire should be like this, a loop should be there, okay. One empty uh, jar has to be taken, okay. Which jar? A jam jar can be taken, okay. Now, a loop has to be, a wire has to be uh, put up into this, in this way and a loop can be formed over here. Hmm? Now, here you will put two thin aluminum disc sort of a structure. Okay, so aluminum you can get it from the you know the uh, the upper part of the thumbs up bottles. Okay, or any soft drink bottles you can find that uh, aluminum cork sort of a thing. You know. Once you remove it and then you drink, you have it, isn't it? So that top can be removed. It is aluminium. Okay. So that you can hammer it nicely and make it very thin. And 
you have to attach two aluminum thin uh, disc over here ok. Now what you will do children here now this will be lower down and here you will put one cardboard ok you will put one you will cover it with one cardboard ok it is a cardboard. Now this one you will tie a knot over here or you will bend it fold it ok fold it on the upper side why you have to fold it children so that it remain hanged over there is not it it will be closed now what you have done you have taken a what you have taken you have taken a jam bottle ok this jam bottle is empty now you have taken one wire ok wire is taken and what you have done you have made a loop over here to this loop you will be hanging two aluminum uh, disc ok which you can get from the top of the thumbs up bottle ok. You remove that aluminum covers and can hammer it can make a hole in that put it in the form of the this disc ok. Now this jam jar has to be covered by the cardboard it has to be covered by the cardboard. Cardboard should have one hole so that the wire this wire can come out from out from that cardboard ok and here if you remove if you leave this wire it will fall down is not it. So, you have to hang this wire you have to hang this wire where you will have to hang this wire to this cardboard. So, what has to be done children you will have to put one knot is not it. So, instead of putting knot you can just bend it. So, bend it on either side now what has to be done next now you can take you can to perform any smallest experiment take the scale hmm? take the scale and rub it nicely on the woolen clothes or rub it very nicely on your head ok dry head it should not be oiled and you know now it is going to develop a charge and it has the capacity to attract the beads of paper is not it yes. So, you will take the scale or the pen you will rub it nicely on the woolens or on your head ok and then you will touch this wire which is there upside ok on the knot which is there na which on the upper side of the cardboard yes. So, what you will do you will touch the scale to this wire which is on the upper side of the cardboards ok. Now, as soon as you touch this ok as soon as, as as soon as you touch the scale with this wire ok what will happen children you will find that this two will move apart. What will be the new position you know it will go like this it will be apart why it will go apart children because your scale is charged ok your scale is charged from the scale what will happen the charge is going to come to this this wire from the wire it is going to come to this aluminum. Now as both the disc is getting same charge. So, what will happen children we have studied now the same charge will always repel each other. So, this both are going to repel each other ok and when you remove the scale after that also it will be in the same position why because now it is charged it has taken the charge. So, it will be in the same position only. Now, what can what can you do next? If you touch this wire with your hands, ok. When you touch this wire with your hands, you will find this again coming back to position A. Say this is position A and say this is position B. So, again you will find that this aluminum disc again goes to the position A, ok. Once again we will talk about electroscope what is electroscope children electroscope is a device or an instrument which is used to detect the charge on an substance which kind of a charge children electric charge ok. Now we have taken a jam jar empty or full it depends upon you now because you have seen what has to be done ok. So, one jar has to be taken now it has to be covered by a cardboard ok. In that cardboard you have to make one hole you have to pass the wire 
or you can start as I told earlier take a jar open mouth ok make the take a wire make a loop into the loop put the aluminum disc cover the cover this jam with the jam bottle with the cardboard and put the knot or bend it bend the wire so it won't fall ok now what you will do next children you will take one scale you will drop it nicely with the woolens or you will drop nicely with the on your head ok without oil so when you bring the scale near this ok when you touch the scale to this bended part you will find as soon as you touch the this wire this will move apart why it's going so apart because when you touch the scale with this folded part the charge which was developed on the scale is passed through this wire and from the wire it is going to pass through this uh, aluminum disc and as it is same kind of a charge so what will happen the same charge is the same kind of charge will always repel each other and so these aluminum foils will repel each other isn't it now if you want to do something else then what you will do children you will touch this part remove the scale after that also they will be in the same position because now this has got charge so what you will do you will remove your hand you will remove the scale you will touch this wire with the hand so what will happen this will again come back in the original position why because now the charge which was there on it will come to your uh, hand and it will go to the earth it will pass to the earth this is known as what earthing that means uh, passing the charge from a body to the earth so what we are doing we are passing the charge ok we are passing the charge from the charge body the transfer of charge from a charge body to the surface of the earth is known as what earthing ok so this is how the electroscope works I know that you can make it at your home ok so uh, now we will talk about the original electroscope children why did I describe this you know because once you understand how can uh, a simple electroscope can be made ok and if you really made it will be really simple to you uh, simple for you to understand the working of the original electroscope also isn't it now so this was about the simple electroscope which you can ma make it at your home itself now we will talk about the gold leaf electroscope ok what is the meaning of gold leaf electroscope children here the leaves which we have taken off aluminium uh, it is taken off gold ok uh, as even the gold is very good conductor of uh, electricity that means charges can be uh, passed is not it so in, uh, gold leaf uh, electroscope is taken gold leaves are taken because it can it has a capacity to detect even the smallest amount of charge ok so we will talk about the uh, gold leaf electroscope ok so now we will talk about gold leaf electroscope ok so we will talk about now which kind of electroscope now we will talk about a gold leaf electroscope now here also what has to be done children now this is an electroscope children ok I think it is visible yeah it is an electroscope ok again it is a glass jaw, jar sort of a thing <laughs> not jar it is a glass jar ok now see now the shape of the electroscope can be of different types ok the shape of the electroscope can be of different types the uh, thing which is used will can be of different different types ok can be uh, replaced by one or the other metals now here what I am taking children here we have taken one cock this is one what cock ok which kind of electroscope it is it is a gold leaf electroscope so this is a rod now this rod is made up of brass ok here one disc is present ok here one disc is present of any metal now here two leaves two leaf 
means what to very thin film of gold is taken ok two very thin leaves of gold is attached leaf means not a leaf which is plucked from the tree children gold leaf that means a very thin paper of the gold can be used over here why gold leaf is used children to make it more sensitive ok to make it more why the gold leaf is used children to make it very very sensitive so again what is there children this is the shape of the electroscope which can be changed ok which changes with the change of the ok which can be of any type which can be different uh, shapes and sizes ok. So, this is an electroscope this is one rod which is made up of brass here we have got two paper like uh, thin paper like structure made up of gold why it is taken of gold to make it more sensitive ok to make it more sensitive. Now, this again a metal disc is attached over here a metal disc is attached over here ok. Now, this sword is made up of what brass and one cork is taken. So, I will just to show this difference I will just color it. So, this is what this is the cork ok. Now, this is what this is the rod of the brass ok. Now, this is what this is the gold leaves ok. Now, this one is what this one is what this one is cock ok and this one is the body of the electroscope ok. Hope it is quite ok. This is the body of electroscope this shape can be changed ok. Now, what has to be like what is there in this one rod is there which is made up of brass. Now, here two structures are two leaf like structures are there which is made up of what gold. Gold is taken just to make it more sensitive nothing else ok. Gold is taken just to make it more sensitive so that it can detect even the smallest amount of charge if it is there on any body. Why it is used children even this can be asked in an objective or one line answer that why gold leaves are used in an electroscope because just to make the electroscope more sensitive. So, that it can even detect the smallest amount of charge present on an body ok on a body. Now, this rod is made up of brass. Now, this is a cock sometimes ebonite cock is taken here ordinary bad conductor uh, cock is taken and this is a disc ok. So, gold leaf brass rod cock and a metal ok a disc. Now, what has to be done same thing children nothing no difference ok. Just you can drop the uh, scale to the paper you can rub the scale to the uh, woolen cloth you can rub the scale to your hair you can take a balloon you can take a glass rod which is rubbed to the silk cloth you can take a ebonite rod rub to a woolen ok. So, in this way any charged body can be taken children and it has to be touched here it has to be touched here. So, same thing whatever you saw in that electroscope which is made by you ok. So, what you will find already I have put that position they will repel each other. Why they are going to repel each other children because now, now whatever charge ok you are passing over here it is going to go to this metal uh, part through this it is going to go over here through this brass rod it is going to reach this gold leaves ok. Now, gold leaves as both the gold leaves are getting one kind of charge only ok. As both the gold leaves are getting one kind of charge only. So, what will happen children this will repel each other this leaves will repel each other and so what will happen when same charges are there they will repel each other they will go far from each other ok the distance between them will increase. So, here also they are going to repel each other 
now this is the first thing what will happen in the second thing children when you will remove the your any charged body glass or scale or anything whatever you have brought if you remove that charged body but still these leaves will be in this condition only isn't it so how can you bring it to a normal one you will do it exactly what you have done over there you will touch this metal with the hand so what will happen these two leaves will come close to each other why because the charge from here is passed is transferred to the earth through your body this is known as what earthing also isn't it what is known as earthing the transfer of charge from a charged body to the surface of the earth is known as what earthing okay so i hope this gold leaf electroscope is very uh, easy for you because now you have made your own electroscope okay so now we'll talk about another topic and before shifting to that now now uh, i think it is very very clear that what hap what happens you know when the one charged body comes in contact with the another charged body the transfer of charged particle take place so who moves children electrons moves isn't it what is electron electrons are the tiny particle which are negatively charged present in the outermost uh, where in the uh, outermost orbit of the uh, where atom yes so what is happening when the charge is transferring electrons are passing isn't it so when two substances come close to each other and what will happen they will transfer the charge i'm talking about the electrostatic pairs okay so charge will be transferred okay so uh, this is uh, the way how can we understand that the whether the charge is passed the body is charged or not so electroscope is used electroscope is a small instrument or device which is used to detect or to check whether the body has got charge or not you can make the electroscope at your own home also as we have discussed over there or else in the laboratories in every good laboratory of a school the electroscope is present okay so with the help of the electroscope you can understand that the body is charged or not okay so now we'll move to the next topic